Photoshop 2 Game Thoughts. So I got the good ending, and I gotta say it's a pretty cool ending. I did not expect that the bombs would go off as you were running down that corridor. You know, I thought you were gonna make it in the very last second. And then, you know, you wind up inside Eleanor, sort of, you know, your her conscience as she tells you, and I think it'll work out okay for the two of them, although I can't help to shake the feeling that on occasion you'll stare longingly at Cameron Diaz. The whole thing with, you know, you saving Eleanor, it was really freaking creepy that Sophia was actually willing to kill her own child just to make sure that you didn't win, you know, and it makes sense because she's a fanatic. That's fanaticism right there, you know, there's no length they won't go to for the greater good, you know. But just the, you know, you're inside the quarantine cage for what seems like a really long quarantine. I mean, it says that, you know, 50 seconds remaining, 20 seconds remaining. I didn't count, but to me it felt like a lot longer, but maybe that's just because I got so into the story, you know. And you see her, you know, you fall down, and then you see her fall down, and you're like looking into each other's eyes, and it's that classic tragic image, you know, of the two, and they're, they're still just barely conscious, but it seems like they aren't going to win. There's no hope. And then you wake up, and you're restrained, and then you take on the role of a little sister because of that MacGuffin that enables Eleanor to, you know, move consciousness between bodies. I'm also not 100% sure how exactly it happened that once that little sister was healed, your consciousness just went back to, you know, Johnny Topside, or whatever you want to call him. Delta. Anyway, when you were playing as a little sister, maybe I was a little slow in realizing, but, you know, for the first 30 seconds at least, maybe a minute or two, I was just, I didn't really realize you know, but clearly they just, I guess because of the whole, I don't know, mind control, you know, they're controlled to just seek out the atom and to, you know, then return it to, you know, there's some kind of control mechanism going on there, some ordering around that they follow seemingly without any kind of, you know, hesitation. Anyway, so yeah, they actually see the world as a much brighter, happier place, you know. To them it seems like, you know, Rapture is still beautiful, and you, you know, you see this stream of rose petals on the floor, and you realize those aren't rose petals, that's blood. That's just really, really creepy, and in general just the things the little sisters say. Again, very, very creepy, you know. It's an angel, Mr. Bubbles. Uh, the, the whole <laughs> really creepy because it's like little girl things and and when she's on your back, you know, when you've adopted one and she'll go like, you know, you don't want to make my daddy angry and all those things, yeah. The whole thing with the little sisters, I thought was, big sisters, was pretty cool. Especially because of that one line that Lamb has at one point. With, big sisters are always watching. Something along those lines. Might not have been plural. That really hammered it home. You know, this is a controlled society, again. You know, this is... 
you know, Ryan seemed to want this kind of completely free society, which of course didn't work, uh, you know, everything in moderation, and Sophia is going for this completely opposite, and the big sisters are sort of, you know, she, she actually says it outright at some point, you know, Rapture is a body, she herself is its heart, I think, or mind, something like that, and the big sisters are, you know, the hands of Rapture, you know, they are what keeps things in check and what attacks when necessary. And in general, this just does a really good job of, you know, having new tough enemies where you have to mix up how you attack them. The very ending, I mean, I, you know, saved everyone. I didn't kill any of the characters that you could kill, and I rescued every little sister. So, you know, there at the end, you, you know, it's again, you, you, make sure that even Sophia is rescued, you know, it's like, it's the, the value of human life, you know, that you choose that no one should die for, it's like anti-death penalty, I guess, anti, you know, cor whatever, that euphemism, you know. And that was just kind of interesting, I, you know, because I didn't quite see it coming, you know, Sophia is right there, Eleanor is in front of her, she's still in the armor, you know, it would take a flick of the wrist to kill her mother, you know, after all she's put her through, after all she's put Delta through, after all she's done to Rapture in general, I suppose you could say I don't know if they're happier now than they were under, under Ryan, anyway, she doesn't, she, you know, gives her the oxygen mask or something like that, you know, it just is a really good kind of, you know, even her, you know, no one should die for this whole thing, no one that doesn't need to. I wasn't entirely clear on what the point of, she, she talks about, you know, when you rescue little sisters, or at least, you know, whatever you do with the little sisters, if you rescue them or harvest them, I would imagine she says about the same thing. She talks about how you're not supposed to do that, you know, the, Sophia does, the little sisters are an important part of Rapture's body. I was never entirely sure what that exactly meant. I get that she's you know, putting all the memories inside Eleanor, which I would imagine would drive anyone insane. I'm also not entirely sure what the point of that is. I get that she's, you know, the savior, and, you know, she's more the savior than she's Sophia's child, apparently, to Sophia. I don't completely get how a lot of memories is going to make her the savior. I. I guess it's that idea of knowing everything, you know, ultimate truth kind of thing. I don't know. But I thought there was some good, you know, I, I thought this really made, it did make you care about the characters, you know, when you're fighting Sinclair there near the end. You really, because he, he has been so helpful, you know, he might not be the most attractive personality overall, but he's helped you and you do want to save him, you know, the same thing with Eleanor. You know, it's just... And, you know, when you are up against the the couple of people that you can kill, it is like, you know, you really do want to, you know, you're conflicted, you know. There are arguments for both sides. I'm no saint. Is it just me, or did Tenenbaum utterly disappear once Sinclair entered the game? She was like, you know, there at the very beginning, and then you see her through that 
you know, window, she looks way younger than I would think since it's been 10 years since the first one and she sounded older than she looks now in the first one. But anyway, she just disappeared. She was never seen or heard of from that point on. I get that, you know, Sinclair was supposed to help you to the surface or something like that, but what about her? There are still little sisters after that point, you know. <clears throat> I suppose that's more or less it. I think the retcon of, you know, the you finding sea slugs out under the ocean is pretty weak. I didn't think that was necessary at all. I like that you can walk on the ocean. You know, that was a good... And then, you know, you see the big sisters and, oh, they can swim down here, you know, so you are outdone, you know, in that way too. Yeah, I think that's everything, so if there was anything I didn't comment on, down below.